Microsoft wants to enable engineers to build intelligent control systems. We want engineers to build these systems using their subject matter expertise without requiring an AI background. My name is Cyril Glockner. I'm a principal program manager at Microsoft's Autonomous Systems Division. And I have always been excited about the power of artificial intelligence and the kind of systems you can build when using advanced AI approaches. I'm using a MathWorks Simulink model to teach an AI system to replace an existing control system within the simulation model. It's a very simple simulation model. In casual, it's called cart pole. The AI has to learn how to move the cart so the pole stays upright. We are modeling the plant, including all the mathematical equations that are representing the physical system of the model. And then we have developed a bonsai block, and the bonsai block itself is also in, in charge of managing the connection back into the service that we have built on the Azure Cloud, that is the AI training um, and teaching service, that takes over actions within the simulation model and receives state information back from the simulation model. So it's wired up in a way where the action from our block feeds directly into the plant, and then it receives back information from the, the model itself uh, based on how the state of the model is changing. So it's four variables, position, velocity, angle, and rotation that are then are being fed back into the bonsai block. Moving over to the MATLAB command prompt, in a few seconds we will see how the MATLAB now is connecting back to our service. The user interface that users are seeing when they are training these systems using our service you're landing in an environment where you can actually see how the progress of the training is doing. We have achieved some results, but not completed yet. You could also see that on the representation in the visual model, how poorly the, the balancing still works. The maximum that can be achieved here is a reward of 1000. Let me go um, and show you how we allow the user to actually teach our system what the environment actually is all about and what the optimal behavior is that we want the AI system to learn. The two pieces that are incredibly important are always, what is the simulation environment made of? What is the state information that is available to the AI service? And what are the actions that should be uh, controlled by the AI system? In our case, position, velocity, angle, and rotation. And the action is you can either move the block to the right or to the left. Yeah. The AI agent needs to learn and understand was the action it took the right action or was it not the right action? And in this case, the reward function that describes that optimal behavior, it will get a reward if it was able to keep the pole upright for one step. And it will then accumulate these rewards over time, which basically means it will learn how to optimize the reward and it will get a single reward point for every time step where the pole was upright. Simulations are basically data providers for the AI agent. So instead of using data sets, as you would do in supervised learning scenarios, in reinforcement learning, we are using simulations to provide these data samples. And the interesting part here is that you see that we are not just having one simulator connected to the system, but we have now 17 connected to the system. And it works in a way where we are running one local and we are adding another 16 that we are running in parallel using the Azure Cloud. You see good progress here also on the right. We are getting close to 1000. So very shortly, we actually have a fully trained neural net that is able to balance the pole. You can always connect or create a graph that shows you what kind of data is actually being exchanged between the simulation environment and the AI training environment. So I'm switching to a different version that I trained before, so I can manage my brain versions. There now you can see that the neural net has converged. That's how we call that. The training has reached 1000. That is the maximum possible reward that can be achieved. And you have basically now a neural net that can provide for any given state an optimal action based on your uh, definition of a uh, reward function. Using our autonomous systems platform, engineers of any background can solve complex control problems using AI through a unique combination of machine teaching, reinforcement learning, and simulation.